But Graham, I got one from Graham, who was a new member of our uh, forum, um, who was now took over from um, Martin's Models, he got me one. Which was a very reasonable £14, pound, I suppose, because you couldn't really make one for that, could you? So, as I say, the layout of this engine is particularly good. It's easy to get at. When you first light it, they're a bit out of the light, but what I find, as with the other Regna logos, if you put your finger over the hole, when you're going to put the flame down to the chimney, it restricts the air a bit and it lights easier. It makes a bit of a pop, but that's what they do. Yeah, it's going very well, that. Well, it's, when it's run, it'll go even better, I suppose. That's where you plug your knots and bits and bobs in, you know, such as your lights and meters, things like that. Because I have no lights at the moment, so I can't really do anything. You put Ellen to put her fingers on the wall and see what happens. <laughs> Make her air stand on the end a bit, maybe. But I think it's only very low volts, probably about 6 to 12 volts, I would imagine. But, um, yeah, I'm going to try and get this video on. I've never put one on before. I'm going to have a go with this one, see what's what. I just cannot do modern technology, it's just not my thing. Steam engines, I'm pretty fair with. With modern technology, well, I've just conquered the calculator to put it mildly. And that's about my limit. You get plenty on this for the money. You say you can get a filler, you know, but again, you have to buy the bottle of filler with. I think some believe it's like a good old filler. What happens is the water goes from this via the pipe into the chuck valve at the top which comes down and goes at the bottom it doesn't fill from the top it fills from the bottom it's obviously hot water at the top and you don't want to cool it off so it goes in the bottom when you finish steaming you close the direction valve put in the middle close the regulator Take this off the bottom here, mind you don't get longer. Open the regulator and square all the filth and muck that's in the oiler into the container. So we get the full container there, get it all over the place. It would have been better point now, but obviously for safety reasons. Um, it's a stop of blowing in your face. But it did happen the way you want, so I've just forgotten. They were old me shared, which had to be thrown away, she couldn't get the stains out. So. I suppose that's why they put it there. Better on the generator than on in your face, I suppose. I suppose that's where Red Moor and all the claims people do now. So, I, uh, but again, very, very nice engine. I haven't timed it, so, but I'll do that next steaming. Probably will think about 20 minutes out of it. I only have it on very low. Because if you turn Regnus up too much, the whistle, as Paulie says, they'll scream like a banshee when they're. You know, but that's just about me up to I. I will tend to have them very low. As I say, it is basically the same layout as a, a Regna Vincent, which is the one with the chain drive, where the chains are the stretch. But still, very good engines. I know Mick bought mine off me, he uh, unfortunately had to sell his for obviously reasons of his own. But um, lovely engines, if you can get one. They're very, very difficult to get at the moment, Regna. For some reason, as I say on me, on the Mammoth site there, I think they like them so much they don't want to sell any. But uh, I think they really do have to pull the socks up because they do sell a very good product and very reasonably priced, I might add. Although it is an expensive outlet, obviously. But they are more affordable than a lot of other engines. So, in all, a very, very good engine, I would say, or steam plant. It's got everything on it. You don't need to buy anything apart from, obviously, the um, the filler and the filler bottle. The gas filler and filler bottle, I should say. Uh, and by the way, a lot of people tend to use spanners on safety valves, because some people fill it through the safety valve. Always use it finger tight. Don't ever use a spanner. They make my hair stand on them when I see somebody put a ring spanner on to tighten it. And you just hear it click and there's a new boiler insert you need. 
Hopefully hope you've enjoyed it. Oh, that's a nice little oil there, by the way. Very nice. Very miniature. I can't really focus well with this camera. Just... There it is. Proper traction engine. Yeah, very, very nice. It's approximately, I think, about... Uh, just over a foot high, I would think. The chimney. Big chimney, nice spiky top. Very nice. I like it better than the, um, the what they call it, engine. This uh, that one. Can't remember the damn name. Then. Oh, Cirrus. That's it. That's how I guess it's abused it. <laughs> but it is a very, very nice engine, this rig, and very, very pleasing. And the beauty of it is. With it being an oscillator, there's no valves to reset and go out of uh, timing, you know, which is good. They may not be accurate to the prototype, but nevertheless, beautifully engineered, very well made. Mm, better blow it out now, I think, as the water's right down. Must keep an eye on that glass, because you can't trust them. I'm not supposed to as 